Good afternoon. I'm here at the Department of Natural Resources Agricultural Unit where we will be commencing our pilot program for food security in hydroponics. Today we will be unpacking the fork farm system which will allow us to grow about 150 plants using around three to 400 pounds annually and we will see what the yield will be like in Angola for the first time. Next year is an exciting year for food security in Angola and this specific pilot program will be dealing with vulnerable persons. So sometime around the second quarter of next year we'll be launching a very exciting partnership where we'll be using the, the information we receive from this pilot program to spread wider throughout the country. Right now we're about to head on in where we will be meeting with Isabel and other members of the DNR and actually getting the seeds ready for a harvest at the end of this month. We're quickly over the planting stage for the flex farm which is basically our hydroponic system. So we have our rock wood, which is our planting material, our tray and our seeds. So in the interest of time, I basically submerge the rock wool in water because it takes a while for everything to penetrate through. Once that is completed, we just sow the seeds and we have a choice to either cover it with ceram wrap or plastic bag and just rest it on the flex farm. And that's about it, the seeds. Their seeds should take about five days to start in from May. We will have to compare the seeds versus our seeds that we need to import to see the difference in terms of generation. Once that is done, then we transplant into the first farm system. The lettuce usually takes about four weeks until harvest. So that shouldn't take that should take us about till the end of the month. The days are longer than we long, but we will you know, go along and assess our the This kind of hydroponic system works with water. These chambers are filled with water and these individual holes is what the planting material, the rock hole, will be fitted into. So once the plant germinates, we'll just break off a piece and insert it into the, the hole. Everything is right under the water. And weekly, you have to check the pH of the water, the nutrients level. Once you harvest, all you have to do is make sure that the juice and inside of the chambers is clean. You basically use a damp cloth with hydrogen peroxide and just wipe. The center here is the UV light that will assist in the growth of the plants. Uh, do you want me to tell now? <laughs> ooh, ooh. So this is what it looks like. And <laughs> this system is basically opens and closed. Based on the variety of plants that you want to plant, it is recommended to be half so that you plant in every other hole and in every other hole to have space for the plants. They also recommend to plant at least 10% extra. So in total, we basically sold 150 seeds. And the and yield is 300 pounds a year? Yeah. And what we will do is put one seed instead of every little hole of the rock. <laughs> and they are very small. Very small. <laughs> <laughs> they are very small. So she's planting some in it, like this. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe you could pour some in your hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but those are very tiny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You will know what the combination. These are bigger because they're pelleted. Ah. And I think that is something that we we'll recommend recommending as well. Did I, did it fall out? I think I heard it. This is the arm boost style. Is it similar to the minute? So that is. This one is easier because you can see it. Yes, it is. Yeah. It has a bottle over there. So that would be the disadvantage of the last season. We would have to ensure that our seeds are penetrated like this so it's easier to plant. Oh, that was a And she was trying to go speak and I was like, what today? What tomorrow?
Beautiful, kind of boardwalk. 